Hello everyone, it is I, James, bet you couldn't tell with my disguise. Anyway, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Hidden Woodsman Haversack. Now longtime viewers will know that I did review a previous Haversack about two years ago and that Haversack still go, holds on very strong, still used to this day. Um, and the Hidden Woodsman is a very popular brand amongst outdoorsmen, particularly there's a lot of exposure of it on YouTube. I'm far from the only one and for good reason, really great stuff. However, I did want to shed light on the modernized 2019 edition of the Haversack. It's largely the same, but there has been some updates making it a, a really good item. You know, he's constantly, Malcolm is constantly improving his gear. And I wanted to subvert expectations. You know, when you think of the Hidden Woodsman, obviously you're going to think of camping, of hiking, bushcraft. And I wanted to change that up and show how you can use something like this for the everyday setting, you know, to carrying it every day to your job, that kind of stuff here in the city. So thank you for joining me. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right, so before we begin, let me just give you guys a summary on the Hidden Woodsman in case you don't know. Now, the Hidden Woodsman is a small American company run by my friend Malcolm Coderre up in New England, and he designs and handcrafts a lot of pouches, a lot of, of course, haversacks, packs, rucksacks, all of that kind of stuff. And it's all aimed, of course, to outdoorsmen. He's, a, he's an avid outdoorsman himself, and he takes a lot of inspiration from the old designs of uh, the old satchels and stuff like that from the frontier era. Um, world war one that kind of stuff and of course he just updates them with modern day materials and all these materials are american made so you're getting quality stuff the outside shell 
All this is Cordura, 400 to 500D Cordura. So it's very, very water resistant, very abrasion resistant. I live where there's a lot of thorns and that kind of stuff, a lot of stickers and stuff, and none of my Hidden Woodsman stuff has ever actually had any damage. Now let's talk about the changes from his previous design to now. The biggest change is before he used to have two straps on the side, and now he's replaced it with one strap. You would think that makes a difference and the bag would open a lot easier, but it doesn't. It really doesn't. So it's not an issue to me. Um, now this is adjustable, as you can tell. You can remove this Velcro and make it longer in case you want to add a small blanket roll down here, something like that. You can do that. A new feature is the Hidden Woodsman logo. It used to be cloth and now it's rubber and it looks really cool. I think it really adds that, um, gives it a little bit more of a quality feel to it. And that's really neat. Now. This is completely optional. There's a Velcro panel in the front um, and you also have an option to not have a Velcro panel. I will admit I am not much of a patch guy so I can take this or leave it but this bag personally isn't mine. This is actually Corvo Negro's bag so it makes sense you know he'd, ha he'd have something like a raven up here. Um, another thing that he's added is a handle back here, a grab handle. Um, the bag that I had, the Haversack from two years ago, didn't have one, and it wasn't a deal breaker by any means. But I did suggest in my review two years ago, you know, that if there was something that I think could could be improved upon, is a grab handle. You know, when you're in a hurry, when you're getting out of your tent or your truck, whatever the case may be, uh, he added that, and uh, really, it's really useful. So that's really cool. Now, another thing that's remained constant is he has his, you know, your shoulder sling and it can be adjusted you know we're all different heights we're all different weight that kind of stuff so you can do it where you're comfortable adjust it up here and then you can just pop it open in case you want to do that okay so i have the basic stuff uh there's going to be a level of preparedness um but not overdone so out here once again with the molly straps right here you can customize your bag and add side pouches uh, you know for a first aid kit for example or a, an extra uh, stainless steel water container once again being from you know in the city i don't need that but i do have a flashlight so, so this is the through night tc15 it is a really strong light it is uh rechargeable so i have a power bank in here so in the city this is going to be just fine i add this in here and easy access to illumination right there on the other side i have a carabiner in case i want to put my keys for example say i go over to a friend's house or something like that i can just put my car keys in here so i don't misplace them or i can just circumvent that one entirely and just put my keys there and there we go so really good stuff for the everyday commute all right so let's open her up now this is what i like to call the easy access pouch now if you're going to get something from in here you're going to have to open up this velcro pouch this panel and if you're going to get something from this other segment you gotta unzip it however Right here is your easy access stuff. This is the stuff you're gonna use constantly, so it's always there. You don't gotta go through all that extra little hassle. Um, so first things first is a pen. Now, a pen is something that's so overlooked. If you're filling out forms, whether you're at the DMV or you know it's your job, you work at a call center, at a law firm, anything like that, you cannot replace a, a pen, honestly. And I know we have phones nowadays and you can type stuff. Personally, especially if you're a creative mindset, a pen goes a long way. Um, once again, talking about creative mindset and um, you know being prepared on the job, you want a little notepad. You could write down important stuff, phone numbers, that kind of stuff. Or once again, being creative, you're going to want to do something, you know, sketches if you come up with some ideas, that kind of stuff. Now, this isn't mine. This is all Cuervo Negro stuff. Um, so yeah, this is his stuff. But um, you know, whether you're writing down ideas or a to-do list, whatever the case may be, this is something I never leave home without. Some semblance of notepad and pen. Moving on from there, now this is completely just, you know, scenario. I don't need glasses, I have 2010 vision, but I just wanted to add that just for the sake of variety. And this is some reading glasses or eyeglasses. Once again, like I said, I don't need them, but you know, just to show that, just to make an example. Or if you don't need these, you can put your sunglasses, which is realistically something that I should have added because having good vision, um, I'm very susceptible to headaches. But uh, yeah, your glasses and then, Altoids. Now, in the bigger scheme of things, 
you know, having minty, fresh minty breath isn't something that important. If I'm camping for three days, I don't care if my breath stinks. But when you're in the office, when you, when you are working and you're, you know, amongst pretty ladies, you don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be that guy whose breath stinks. So this isn't exactly survival in the long term, in the bigger scheme of things. But, you know, you're not going to land a date if you smell like crap. So carry your Altoids 10. Doesn't weigh anything. Okay, now here comes all the wires, and I'm very messy with wires. I'm, I lack the patience to put them, put them away neatly, so one at a time. Um, headphones for my iPhone. Whether I want to listen to a YouTube video, a podcast, listen to music in privacy, I can do so during my lunch break or something. Uh, I, I hate being, I hate those people that listen to something out loud when you're in a public place. Like not everyone likes your kind of music, you know. Come on, have some, have some manners. So you know, headphones is something that we constantly use. And once again, none of this, these items don't tend to be, you know, survival in the bigger picture in the bigger scheme of things. But headphones are, you know, they make your day more enjoyable. Okay, now we have my USB charger if in case I need to charge my flashlight or my power bank. Here it is when I'm on the go. And then while I'm, we're speaking of on the go, we, I have my phone charger. If I have access to electricity to an outlet, of course, I'm going to charge my phone through there than using up the juice on my power bank. And just like the Altoids, lotion. Once again, don't be that guy that you're all crusty with, you know, smelling bad and that kind of stuff. You know, you are in the city. We are amongst other people, you know, so you want to look professional. You do want to look, you know, like someone you want people want to be around. So a little bit of lotion goes a long way. Now, these items aren't, you know, life or death situation once again, but they make a difference. Speaking of life and death, the Exotac Titan Light, which is my lighter. And we do have a review coming pretty soon on this item. Really good stuff. Once again, made in America, just like the Hidden Woodsman pack. Uh, really tough, sturdy little lighter. And uh, like I just showed you, a lot of this stuff isn't survival in the bigger scheme of things. But if something was to happen, I have illumination and I have a source of ignition. So amongst the everyday stuff, we do have, you know, elements of survival sprinkled in. Okay, so let's open up this zipper compartment. And now this ornamentation right here was added by Cuervo Negro so this is just customization that he's added this doesn't come with the bag let's open this up and this is where the preparedness mindset comes in a small uh, first aid kit I wouldn't necessarily call it a first aid kit it's really small but you have things like ibuprofen in there you have bandages you know if you nicked yourself um, something like that uh, you know you're just basic everyday thing the swabs you know the antise antiseptic swabs so I'm not gonna bother opening this up it's nothing you know some paramedic kind of stuff but just everyday kind of stuff cuts that kind of stuff a headache a bandana of course a bandana has a hundred uses in fact funny story yesterday I needed to wash my bandana so I didn't have one with me and it kept driving me nuts because I kind of wanted to keep uh, you know I wanted to clean my hands while I was doing things and I didn't want to waste napkins or I was out in the mountains where I didn't have access to a napkins uh, some napkins so I really missed the bandana so a lot of uses all right now before we talk about this main segment another customization that doesn't come with the bag this is something that Cuervo added is down here he has a shoulder strap it came from his UTG tactical messenger bag he's not using this bag uh, at this point he's using this haversack so he just transferred this over on um, this is comfortable enough you know I don't really think you need it but you know it just shows the versatility how much you can just customize this bag so moving on just for anyone who has that question that's gonna ask me in the comments now let's take a look at the main compartment. Once again, we're viewing this, you know, from the everyday carry scenario, going to work. You're gonna wanna take your lunch, you know? Um, so I have a thermos. In the mornings, you want your coffee, and at night, you're gonna want, you know, your iced tea or your water. Uh, we're in springtime, which means it's a very tricky time. It starts off nice and warm now where you know getting adjusting to the heat and all of a sudden the night comes and it gets breezy it gets cold something like that so you may want something warmer or something like that whatever the case may be this is a pretty large thermos and as you can tell it fits in there just fine okay so let's get our drink out of the way and as you saw earlier I have my Yuko mess kit really loving this thing I probably will not make a review once again it's a mess kit there's not much we can review about it but spoiler alert I'm really enjoying it as you saw I was able to fit two sandwiches uh, as you could tell 
I have a fork and a spoon. So if I need to eat something while I'm on the go or something like that, or I take this out camping, it's just going to be useful. And once again, I'm really loving Yuko's products. I got to say, I'm a Yuko fanboy, and I really enjoy this. So I'm able to take my drink and my food. So that's the main compartment. And now for the last items. Once again, another item of preparedness is my knife. I cannot leave home without a fixed blade knife. And for this scenario, I have the Mora Consbol. We have a review on this in case you're curious. I'll link it below. Um, but yeah, this for the long-term viewers are going to know that this has become my favorite knife of all time. I really love it. And it's really good for EDC carry, guys, for the everyday because it's a very lightweight knife easy uh, maintenance it's not carbon steel it's not a heavy knife it's not bulky something like that so it's very sleek it fits in here really smooth oh, I have stuff in there but yeah fits in there really smooth now yeah you can have your pocket knife and your you know something your spider co or your Swiss Army knife but I like to have a fixed blade on me at all times Moving on to the OutXE Power Bank. Now, recently we did make a review on the larger relative of this one, the 20,000 amp, um, the 20,000 mAh Power Bank, the, the OutXE Savage. Funny story, it got stolen a week after we reviewed it. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of embarrassing. But regardless of that, um, I ended up buying this one, which is half the power. It's 10,000 uh, for 40 bucks, and I, I re I'm really enjoying it. You know, I really like the fact that these OutXE are really strong, really rugged. So really enjoying it and of course this helps me charge my phone as well as my flashlight when I'm on the go so you know once again on the go in the city if I don't have an outlet I can charge my stuff and last thing in here is the book The Revenant I happen to be a big reader I will admit I've gotten a little lazy you know I'm watching Netflix and that kind of stuff but I have always been a big reader and I'm currently uh, finishing up The Revenant and I'm almost done as I'm sure you most of you know about the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio uh, this the book is very different and both of them are very highly fictional I know there's elements of you know who you glass and uh, you know things that really happened but for the most part it's fictional it's very different I will make a review a book review on this pretty soon I don't know how interested you guys are gonna be on that but once again I am a big book fanatic so uh, I will talk about this in depth in about a week or two and there we go that's about it as you can tell, this bag was able to fit in a lot of stuff. I have stuff for the city, my headphones, my phone charger, my battery bank, my book, my lunch, my drink. At the same time, I have several things for preparedness. I have a flashlight. I have sources of ignition. I have a knife, a bandana, a small first aid kit. So there's a lot of things that you can still add in here just for the what if scenario. We happen to come from the preparedness mindset. What if, uh, you know, some catastrophe happens, whatever the case may be. At least you have a couple of the basic things on this um, in here that you're carrying every day. So that's just about it for this bag. Well, folks, that's about the conclusion of our review for the Hidden Woodsman 2019 edition Haversack. Now, I happen to be a big supporter of the Hidden Woodsman because he makes really great stuff that I genuinely enjoy. Not only that, but, you know, you're helping support a small American business. Uh, this isn't some soulless corporation in China, as I said before. This is somebody who uses his imagination and his skills to think of something and make it, and it really works. He's an outdoorsman himself, so he has that intimate understanding and you can have a conversation with him on Instagram and stuff like that he's a really humble guy and he'll listen to you if you have some suggestions that kind of stuff and that's what keeps him ahead of the curve and that's what keeps his business thriving and because of that I'm always gonna have his support really great stuff and I really wanted to focus this video uh, maybe you're not an avid outdoorsman or you're really stuck in the city you don't have a lot of free time to go do your mountain stuff and all that so in case you're on the fence about maybe not buying one hopefully this changes your mind because I wanted to just show this in the city and how useful it is even here okay guys well that's about it for this review if you enjoyed it go ahead and give us a thumbs up and comment below if you have any questions we will also post the link to the hiddenwoodsman.com so you want to check out his stuff and I will post links to Amazon for variants that he has different colors and patterns uh, that you can find on amazon.com of his gear as well as links to anything you may have seen in here that you're interested in purchasing like the Mora Consbol, the through night flashlight the out exceed power bank that if you purchase them it helps support the junkyard Fox uh, store and that throws in a couple cents our way so we can meet keep making really fun videos such as this one all right guys so we're down to like six percent battery on our phone so we got to make this quick so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week
Now go outside and get your boots dirty.